Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to my channel. So it has been a while. The last vlog you would have seen was my moving vlog and as you can imagine, it has been a very hectic week or 10 days. Can't even remember last time I kind of spoke to you. I think it was around 10 days ago at this stage. But I can finally say we are fully moved in. All our stuff is over and we finally feel sort of settled in. I think we've been living here now for just about two weeks so it's starting to feel like home now which is nice. I am just sipping on my protein shake. I had a bagel and protein shake for my breakfast this morning because I'm in a little bit of a rush. I have a lot to do so I'm having the peanut butter cereal milk protein shake this morning and I have this with water but if you try this with almond milk it's literally amazing. It literally tastes like a milkshake. It's the nicest protein ever. So just a bit of an update as to what's happening over the next week or so. Christian and Nabil will be here on Friday, which is just like three days away now. So I will finally be recording my athlete video. I have been speaking about this athlete, athlete video for so long, but if I'm honest, I was meant to do this athlete video so many times. There were so many different dates where Christian got onto me and he was like, you're in this date, when can we do it? And I kept putting it off because I was really nervous about it. But to be honest, I'm actually just getting over myself now and realizing that it's a huge opportunity in the first place to work with such a big brand. And having my own athlete video is a really cool thing and I shouldn't be that nervous about it. So I'm not. I'm actually really looking forward to it now. I can't wait to see Christian and Abiel again. I haven't seen Abiel in so long and anytime he comes to Cork it's always a fun time so finally it's happening they're coming from Friday to Monday or Tuesday I can't really remember and I'll make sure to vlog over the weekend as well for you. Other than that I do have some very exciting news to tell you about. I can't believe I forgot to tell you this in my last vlog. I think it was because I was so consumed by moving that I just completely forgot but if you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen my post, but myself and Gary are gonna be the guest trainers with New Horizon Escapes next year, next September in the Philippines. And we literally cannot wait. If you've been here for a while, then you would have seen my Thailand vlogs. Myself and Gary went to Thailand with New Horizon Escapes this summer. We weren't guest trainers. We were actually there as guests which is really nice because I got to experience what you will experience when you come. And it was absolutely amazing. I always say it was like the best trip of my life. So they asked us to come back as trainers in September 2020 and we cannot wait. I have my laptop here, so I am gonna pull up some details about the escape because there is a lot to it. But basically what happens is you come to the Philippines with myself and Gary, it's gonna be like a really active week. They like to call it active adventures. I wouldn't really call it a fitness retreat. It's more like adventurous than a fitness retreat, if that makes sense. So just to give you an idea, on the Monday we just arrive, we chill out, we have like a welcome meeting. Tuesday we are going on an island hike, we have a barbecue for lunch and then chill time at the beach. One thing that I definitely noticed about the New Horizon Escapes this year was that we had so much time to relax and I sort of expected to be on the go the whole time whereas you can kind of relax whenever you want to. There's no pressure around doing every single workout if that makes sense. Like you can sit out of workouts if you want to and you have plenty of scheduled like rest and chill time too. So that's why it's more of like an adventure than a retreat. We have things like surf lessons, workouts, sunrise yoga, lagoon adventures and like so many more things planned for the week. As far as I know, all you have to do is give a 400 pound deposit. Like you pay that upfront just to secure your spot and then you can pay it off as the year goes on. So it's nearly a whole year you'd have to pay it off. And honestly, I can say guys, it is worth every single penny and we had the best time ever. So that is one massive piece of news that I could not wait to tell you about. I'll leave the link to the escape in my bio so you can look up the prices, the schedule, the resort and where you'll be staying and things like that. Pop me an email if you have any questions or better again get on to New Horizon because they're the ones actually running the escape whereas me and Gary are just there as guest trainers so I'd imagine they would be able to answer your questions a lot better than we could. But anyway guys I wanted to show you my little office transformation because I remember last time I gave you this tour this room was completely empty and all my furniture came from Ikea so I spent most of this week putting this little room together so I'm going to show you now. So this is the little office space so far 
Um, obviously, I still have more bits that I need to add to it because it's looking a little bit plain. But this is the desk. This desk took me honestly about six hours to put together. And I'm about to go and pick up um, a desk chair for this today because the desk is a much good use to me without the desk chair. I also have this little clothing rail also from Ikea so I can like picture this in the background of my hauls. I'm sure you saw my last video when I picked up all these pieces but I just thought I'd show you when it actually came together. I have my little globe up there, my lamp. I have a flower here but I need to get rid of these blue blinds. They're absolutely shocking but that's another job for today because the blue just obviously doesn't go at all. And then I have this little corner for my ring light and my mirror. So it's a little bit plain, but obviously it's a big improvement too of what it was. And this is probably where I spend most of my time, to be honest. Gary just measured himself, guys. I'm actually freaking out a small bit because I just measured myself and I'm actually six foot six. Why are you freaking out? Because that's way too tall. I don't want to be that tall. <laughs> For bodybuilding. For every reason, like that's just inconvenient. Like, I think it's lovely. <laughs> no, like six two, six three, yeah. Nice tall human being. Six How six, did you what grow? the fuck is that? I don't know. Like, you grew an inch since last year. Yeah, I know, I thought people stopped growing like in height really at like 19, 20 years old. Like. Clearly not <laughs> value on just keep getting taller. We are just out and about doing bits. So we're outside Argos. I spotted a lovely office chair. So I was kind of looking for something that was still kind of casual and didn't look too like leather and cold and office-y because as you saw, like the place is quite bright. So there's a really nice kind of textured office chair in Argos. We're just outside now and I'm gonna go in and pick it up and show you. Guys, I'm not gonna say much now. There's gonna be some big changes soon. Oh, 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 oh you. Yeah, man. I do not get changes. excited. <laughs> I'm telling you, good things are coming. Good things are coming. I literally can't say Powerful a word. Things are coming. Here, what size is that going to be? Do you think it's like almost put together for us? That's why the box is so big. Yeah. I hope so. I'm so sick of putting things together. Guys, I'll give it to Gary. He did well. Yeah. Picked out these curtains for one of the spare rooms. You can't really see them in the light. Well, you actually picked out way nicer ones than I did, like. I know. You see, you know, a tip for everyone watching the video is never bring your boyfriend to curtain shopping. Because <laughs> there's nothing worse. <laughs> he was complaining literally the whole time. When we moved out last week, Gary was, like, so excited about being part of the whole thing of, like, decorating place. And now he's literally, like, like his words were before we came in, don't ever, ever bring me somewhere like this ever again. I'm, <laughs> he said, I'm not buying one more single thing for the house. Like I'm not, I really, I'm just done with it. Like it's such a time consuming, tiring process. Tiring. It is all we're tiring. doing is walking around the shop. I absolutely love it. I could do it all day, every day, but he's literally so over it. And I feel like most boyfriends would be at this stage though. Walking when you're 264 pounds is tiring, okay? <laughs> I'm actually getting really hungry now anyway though. So we are going to head home and have food and today is leg day so I can't wait to get to the gym and absolutely smash my session so I'll catch you in a few. I just have my pre-workout meal cooking so I'm having some spaghetti bolognese. I always find having like a lot of sodium before your workout along with carbs and protein gets you a great pump so today's session is going to be a big one. I haven't trained legs. I took one unexpected rest day this week so it's been like one extra day since I've had a leg session, so a feeling it's going to be a good one. I'm going to bring you through it anyway. Here she is. So I ran out of creatine, aka ghost size this week. So it's just aminos in my shaker for today. But this is the Welch's grape flavor and it's literally the nicest. It tastes kind of like Ribena, if you were wondering. So I'm going to have two hefty scoops of that. And we'll get going. Okay guys, just got to the gym. So if you didn't notice, we train in a warehouse gym. So it gets quite cold here in the winter months. So I'm gonna warm up with my glute band as always. I literally picked this up in the gym and it was like two or three euro. You don't need anything fancy. But yeah, I'm gonna show you my glute warm up now. I normally warm up for like maybe up to 10 minutes. And have a little walk on the treadmill as well, just to get warmed up fully, especially in the colder ones.
I am going to start today's workout with a quad extension because personally I believe my quads are my biggest weak point in my lower body anyway. So starting with a quad extension, I like starting with like a lagging body part because obviously you have the most to give at the start of your workout. So it's good to start off with a weak point. One tip that I have for when you're doing the quad extension is to make sure you're properly locked into the seat and that your hips aren't moving because as soon as your hips are able to move then the tension will be released from your quads. So make sure you're really secure and in place. I would give you these tips while I'm on the machine but it's right next to a speaker so just thought I'd tell you now and we're going to get into it. So as many of you would know, an RDL is a really good movement that just works your whole posterior chain really. So my tips for this movement is to make sure you're driving your hips back and you keep your spine neutral. Make sure to keep your core tight and keep very close to your body as well. Make sure you don't lock your knees at the top because that's super dangerous. And tip number two is to make sure you keep your knees stable and they don't point inwards as you increase the weight because this is definitely a movement that you should be loading up as much as you can. So if you do have the single leg alternative in your gym, then make sure you make use of it. on the Smith machine. I'm doing narrow stance because it targets the outer sweep of your quad a lot more and as I said earlier on in this workout, that's the muscle group that I'm really trying to bring up. Okay guys, we are back from the gym and I just had my post-workout meal. So that session was really good. I actually really, really enjoyed it. So I'm just about to pop up and have a shower now, but I mentioned this on my Instagram this week, but I am thinking of setting up a Depop account. And it wasn't really until I moved that I realized how much stuff I actually have that I don't wear. 
there's things with tags on them that I literally never wore or else there's dresses that I wore once that I feel like other girls would really appreciate so a lot of girls on Instagram did say they'd be interested but I just thought I'd say it to my YouTube fam as well to see how you'd feel about a Depop account where I can basically sell my clothes. It would mainly just be like dresses and gym gear because that's probably what I have the most of upstairs. I've actually never used Depop before in my life. I don't have an account and I don't know how it works. I obviously understand that like it's where you sell secondhand clothes but I'd have to set up an account and start from scratch so let me know if you'd like it and I can get started on that. Also guys I picked up these yesterday. How cute are these? I got them in the range. Notice how I have no coffee because I'm completely biased towards coffee drinkers. I don't drink coffee and I was like Do you know what I'm not gonna buy the coffee one. <laughs> so uh, I feel like my mom will actually probably kill me when she comes up because she loves a cup of coffee. I also picked up these fake flowers because as you would know, I kill all living flowers. I'm literally a flower murderer. So these are kind of cute. And this is our date night funds. It's looking rather empty, Gar. Yeah, we haven't bought anything in like months. Yeah, this was full. And then I can't remember why we emptied it, but we're starting it now again. And I just leave it up here on the kitchen counter slash like windowsill because it's easy access for us, you know. Morning guys, I'm up, ready for the day. My oats are in the microwave and I just got up, had my shower and got ready. I actually smell like my dad's like shaving foam because I sent Gary into the shop. Oh, there's my oats. I sent Gary into the shop to get me body wash because we ran out and he came out with a three pack of men's body washes. So I either smell like Lynx or else I smell like your dad's shaving foam right now. I have an eyebrow appointment in town in like half an hour. These brows are in dire need of some love. They're kind of filled in at the moment, but I've actually been thinking about getting them microbladed. I think that's what it's called, where they're like kind of kind of draw them on and they stay there permanently. Although I do have like quite a bit of eyebrow hair because I have like kind of thick dark hair, but I just hate filling them in every day and I feel like with lashes, even though they're quite bare at the moment, they make getting ready so much easier. So I've been thinking about getting them microbladed. I just don't know where to go and what's good and what's bad. So if any of you guys have had your brows microbladed, will you please let me know in the comment section if you'd recommend it and if you got it done in Ireland, then let me know where you went if it's good because I'm just kind of sick of getting them tinted and waxed like every month. So this is how my hallway is looking at the moment. I have three things here, chest of drawers, bedside table, and can't actually remember what the other thing is to put together. So I have this bag of clothes. I have another bag back there, and this is another box from the chair yesterday. And we also have this little bathroom press. How cute is it, guys? It's upside down in this clip, but so that's gonna go in the downstairs toilet. But this is the glamour life of moving house and having to build. Okay guys, so I just got dressed, so I'll show you what I have on. I have this cream Alphalete hoodie with the cream jacket from Pretty Little Thing. This little hat and I paired it with some gym leggings. And do you know what, this is like my whole vibe recently. Kind of mixing and matching dressy and gym wear. I think it kind of looks cute because you're comfortable but it also looks like you put in a little bit of effort if you get me. I don't know. So speaking of Alphalete, I did get my package this week. The next launch is on the 9th of November, but I was actually recording my haul and then I realized that Christian's coming over this weekend, so he suggested that we just do a haul together instead. And I feel like you definitely enjoy that a little bit more as well, instead of just having like my usual kind of sit down, bringing through the products. This thing is like so close to my face. Okay, it's a little bit better. But yeah, Christian's coming this weekend, so I decided I'm gonna record my haul with him instead and bringing through all the products. So that will be coming ASAP. As soon as I record it, I'll sit down, edit and upload. I promise you that because I know that you're all quite eager to get the reviews of the new leggings, but I do have my package and I absolutely love the new pieces. I have a lot to say about them. So that will be up for next week's vlog. But anyway, guys, I am gonna wrap up this video here. I am just about to rush into town and get going for the day. I have a lot to do. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.